Okay, so let me set the scene for you. You're driving in the desert. It's the middle of the night. There's no one but you on the road. And then suddenly, bang, you see this thing crash landing in front of you. You decide to explore, so you take out your torch and you walk towards it. And then you see these strange markings in the ground. They look man-made. You can see some patterns, but nothing that you can discern. OK, this is actually a scene from a film called Thor, which is a really good film. You should watch it. There are some stuff like alien gods fighting. That's not exciting. This is exciting. What happens next is there's a special agent in the scene coming and yelling some orders. Get me someone from linguistics down here. That's where the film gets it wrong, because they should have called me. <laughs> what I do is I teach machines to find patterns in text that correspond to linguistic structure. In my PhD, I've looked at how we can find patterns that correspond to parts of speech and how these change across languages. And I've shown that if we want to do this well, we need to look at language as a whole. We need to see how the different bits of language fit together and how that changes from language to language. To explain why, imagine this. Imagine if instead of these markings, we got a galactic Rosetta Stone, like the same text in multiple languages. A uh, space linguist would not just look at the text and say, oh, yes, this, that word goes with that squiggle. It's, it's not that easy. We need to see, uh, we need to know about word order and syntax. Perhaps in this language we say, beer strong drinks John instead of John drinks not a strong beer. And we need to know about word endings. Perhaps in this language we say, use a special ending when we talk about cats and dogs, but not when we talk about chairs and rocks. And finally, we need to know about parts of speech. Perhaps in this language, there are no adjectives. And we express the same meaning using verbs or nouns. So we say something like, this leaf has greenness, instead of this leaf is green. And using machine learning techniques, we can do these sorts of analyses over millions of words in hundreds of languages, far more what any single linguist can do by themselves. And using these analyses, we can not only translate alien languages, if need be, but also teach computers how to speak and understand language and eventually take over the world. <laughs> so thank you. Uh, but more importantly, using these analyses, we can learn more about language itself. So next time you see some alien markings on the ground, you now know who you're going to call. <laughs> thank you.